In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create an amortization schedule in Google Sheets. So you can see here we have a 30-year fixed rate loan. We have a loan amount of $200,000 at a rate of 3.5% and a term of 360 months or 30 years. So the first thing we need to do is calculate our monthly payment amount. So we're going to use the payment function and the first input is our rate. Now this interest rate here is expressed annually, but in order to calculate a monthly payment, we need to divide this rate by 12 to convert it to a monthly rate. The number of periods is the term of our loan. We have this expressed as months already, so this is good as is. The final input that's required is the present value, which is our loan amount. There were two additional inputs for this function, but they are optional and not required for this type of calculation. So we have everything we need. And this gives us a monthly payment of $898. Now you can see there is a negative value in front of that. Um, that's just how this function works. It thinks of that as money leaving uh, your pocket. So if you want that to be a positive number, you can just simply put a minus in front of the payment function. The next thing we want to do is create our schedule. The first column we have is the number 1 through 360, a number for each month in the life of our loan. So we can create that really quick with the sequence function. We have a first input of rows. How many rows we want? We want 360. How many columns? We want one. And we want to start at a value of one. And the final argument, step, we want to step in increments of one. So when I go all the way down to the bottom, you can see we have a count all the way down to 360, which is the last payment of our loan term. The next column is our beginning balance for month one. That is going to be our initial loan amount. The next column contains our monthly payment amount that we calculated over here. So we just want to reference cell B5 and hit F4 to lock that down so that when we drag this formula down, it always points to that cell. Next, we want to calculate the interest portion of our payment for month one. That is going to be our beginning monthly balance times our interest rate. But again, that interest rate needs to be divided by 12 to get a monthly number. And we want to hit F4 to lock this cell down as well because we always want to point to cell B3. So we want to divide that by 12 and enclose it in parentheses. So we have the interest portion of payment one. Now to get the principal portion, that is just simply our total monthly payment amount minus the interest portion we just calculated. I have a slot here for an extra principal payment amount each month. For now, I wanna leave that blank. Um, when you're creating an amortization schedule, it's always a good idea to do it first as if you're making only the expected payments because you want this to end at a value of zero. That's the best way to check it. And you can only do that if you just create the schedule without any additional principles on the front end. So the ending monthly balance is our last column and that is our beginning monthly balance minus the portion of our payment that went to principal. And the beginning monthly balance for month two is our ending month one balance. So now I can start to drag some of these down. You can see the portion that went to interest and principal changed a bit. It went down a little bit on the interest and up a little bit on the principal. And that's the trend you should see in a schedule like this. So we'll copy this down and then we can copy this whole row and now that we have a couple of rows that have all of the same type of formulas in them, we can auto fill down everything else. So as I said earlier, the best way to check that this is right and everything is as it should be is to go all the way down to your ending balance for the final payment in your 
schedule and it should be at zero and it is that's just tells us that this is done correctly another good indicator is that if you look at your final payment the portion going to interest should be almost nothing and the portion going to principal should be almost all of it so that is another good sign there so now what we'd also like to do is add tally over here for total interest paid throughout the life of the loan and for now we could simply just sum the interest payment column in our schedule what we'd also like to do is compare that to scenarios where we have an extra principal payment each month now if we do that though we're going to pay off this schedule a lot sooner and at some point the ending balances as a stand will go to a negative number so when you try and sum this column you can't do that unless you add an additional if statement to your month end balance formula so first we'll start with adding an extra payment though we'll just add two hundred dollars each month so we want to reference this cell here b7 hit f4 to lock that down so that it always points to that cell we also need to adjust our formula over here so that it subtracts our beginning monthly balance from our principal payment and our extra principal payment now i found that sometimes google sheets does not like to do auto fill down when you already have values or formulas below um, so since that's the case here the best thing to do is click on the cell we just adjusted the formula in click control shift down arrow and then control D to copy that new formula down so you can see also that since we're paying extra each month it does pay off the loan early and some of these balances down here go negative and it's just not pretty to look at so what we could do is insert an if statement that says if our formula currently is greater than or equal to zero then we want to reflect that formula beginning monthly balance minus principal minus extra principal if it is not we want that to become a value of zero and then again i'm going to hit control shift down arrow and then control d and now this shuts off when the loan becomes paid in full or should i say the ending balance goes negative and also the interest payment shuts off as well so now we can sum our interest column and compare it when we have different amounts of extra principal payments each month you can see that changes it drastically now what we can also add is a match function in this cell to return the month in which uh, we pay off the loan if there's an extra principal payment what the match function does is it looks for the first match in a range based on a search value and tells you the relative position of where that match that first match is found so our match here is a value of zero we want to search in j2 all the way down to our last payment and we want an exact match so we're going to put a zero for the search type and you can see at 186 is when we pay this loan off if we pay an extra $500 a month. So that is how you can create an amortization schedule in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.